Hello, my name is Sofia Salazar Magaña, and I'm an undergraduate student at the Genomic Sciences Program at UNAM. And my work is called Lupus Peripheral Blood Meta-Analysis with Recount 3 and Recount 3 like processed RNA seq data. So, for some background, systemic lupus erythematosus or SLE is an autoimmune disease for which contribution of tissue specific factors has been characterized and associated with T and B lymphocytes, as well as innate immune cell subsets. Nowadays, a large amount of transcriptomic data is publicly available for analysis. For example, with methods like a meta-analysis, and meta-analysis uh, allows for the integration of data sets from different sources in order to uh, obtain robust gene expression profiles. So, in this work, we perform a meta-analysis using independent data sets of peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs. We mine the data from the NCBI, NCBI GEO repository, uh, and then we created the found studies looking for only patient control designs. Uh, the RNA-seq data was either obtained through the Recon3 uh, database or uniformly processed with the same Recon3-like pipeline that is called monorail external. This for, so for those experiments that were not available in the former repository. The monorail external pipeline uh, transforms raw data through a series of steps that include splice-aware alignment and junction-junction inclusive quantification. This pipeline is the same as the one that was used for all of the processing of the data in Recount 3, uh, but adapted for smaller amounts of samples. Uh, one of the advantages of using this software for obtaining the count data is that it uses both reference annotation dependent methods as well as agnostic annotation methods for expression analysis. Uh, then the counts um, were batch corrected using SVA, uh, specifically the SVA seq method, which is uh, optimized for high throughput sequencing data. And it allows for the estimation of surrogate variables, even if you don't know the batch uh, of the data. Also counts were normalized using HR and differential expression analysis was performed using Lima Boom. For quality control, we computed the adjusted p-value histograms for each study individually. And here we can see that we have little inflation of significant genes, which are the ones with low p-values. And also we see that we don't have a particular uh, trend on which specific p-values are shown in a significant amount. Uh, which will in the, indicate that we have some problems with an experiment. Uh, then we did a random effects model meta-analysis with the tool Meta. And here I'm showing the summary statistics. Uh, first, we have the estimation of the effect sizes, the estimation of the amount of variability of the genes across all studies, and the estimation of heterogeneity. We can see that most genes have uh, no effect uh, from the disease status of the sample, as it is expected, since the disease should not affect the expression of, of all of the genes. Uh, we also show that a lot of genes have uh, little variability across studies, yet some of them um, do have high variability, and we show that almost all of the genes have little amount of heterogeneity. However, for this last uh, estimation, we have really high Q values uh, given by the Ford histogram, uh, which means that maybe this uh, test for the estimation of tau square statistic, it is not the, the best one. Yet for the estimation of the amount of variability I squared, uh, we have low Q values, which means that we have confidence for those genes with uh, little variability. And having these little variable genes is very val valuable for this analysis as we can highlight and contrast them with another random effects model, uh, which was the Metavolcano R. And we show the names of those genes that were highlighted by the previous meta-analysis. And uh, we also show the sign of consistency uh, depicted by the intense, uh, by the amount of color that the genes are shown in. 
and this depicts uh, how many times was this gene up or down regulated. A meta-analysis was also performed using a different uh, approach, which was a combined approach of both p-value and log fold change threshold with the same metavolcano R2. And this was done in order to further support our findings. And we performed a GO uh, gene ontology term analysis for these genes, and we show association for metabolic related pathways in down regulated genes. And additionally, uh, some of the highlighted genes from the previous random effects model uh, intersection um, were also related to metabolic pathways and were also down regulated as shown in the right forest plot. Additionally, we found other genes of interest that were related to nuclear stru structure transcription and translation. Um, some of the highlighted genes also from the previous intersection of both uh, random effects model methods um, show uh, some of the genes uh, that were precisely related to these functions and additionally GO terms were related to initiation and regulation of transcription for the upregulated genes in the past um, combined approach meta-analysis. So in conclusion, these results revealed uh, possible research insights for the non-human immunogenic related uh, lupus research and also highlight the need for further regulatory uh, related research involving distinct cellular pathways and their effect on their disease. Thank you.